Sarki ya amsa Ai da waki Ya Highness The white man has begun his final match at Sapato It appears that Casino surrendered at the last minute So the war was about You all have heard What do you advise we do Fight We fight my lord Your Highness Your Highness if reason can prevail on an issue, why rush to spill blood? The white man who insists, let him fill the cold blood of the caliphate. Your Highness, to avert the war like the Katsina people is to have the white man bring his paper for the caliph to sign. And it is for the white man to tell us to stop owning slaves, to stop Islam. It is also for the white man to live amidst us as the head of the caliph and raise his stupid flag. <clears throat> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid. Amen. But this reminds me of the double-edged sword. Either way, it will be at the cost of war. I do not understand what he is saying. I think I understand Galazima. What he means is that if we wait and fight the white man, then it will be at the cost of defeat. See what they did to the to the to the brave men of Kano. I think if we we'll, if we we'll talk peace, uh, if we we'll avert the war like the like the shameless people. My Come lord, on. I think we shall migrate. Yes, let's a place. Let's a place for the white man. A place is as good as the people who lives in it. Uh, without us, all he has are mud houses, walls, old ships. Broken water pots and icy gates. I have under the canopy can of Kungani. Words is what I hear from you only. But I need sense. <clears throat> I quote May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid. Hulin nafsin zai katil maud. The sense is that we shall be saving lives, Your Highness. The lives of the women, children, and the old. It is accepted within the Islam, Your Highness. You excuse yourself from the presence of your enemy in order to regroup a fight stronger and more focused. Any sense that is short-lived is no sense at all. I see the enemy, my enemy, and run away. To where? How far can I go, Your Highness? Istanbul? Tunis? There we will find our Muslim brothers who are either having the French or the British as masters. So tell me, where do I hide? And to hide is the coward part. Your Highness, Your Highness, well, lie to lie, each time Mother Waiki speaks, I'm scared. Hmm? His words are sharp and fiery. They will move our youths to want to take on a wild elephant with bare hands. Why commit such a folly when there's chance for peace with the infidels? Sarkin Kwani, ya naga kake girgiza kai kaman kadan gari. What is on your mind? My lord, the penda of the plague and truth of Islam. For the very first time, I feel I have arrived at the wrong place. Subhanallah. Okay, Agaban Sarki. Hattara. I mean no disrespect, my lord. However, I am at a loss as to why followers of the caliph speak like spies of the British woman queen. How about the teacher? Why are you talking to us like that, Tara? I did not accuse anyone. If I must remind you, this is the father of the Sarki Muslim. Yes. yes. The Caliph must not cower. He must yeah. never have you forgotten the blood of the Shaw Mujid Adi closing him. Yes, of course. No true Muslim will hear that the Caliph wants him to fight for Islam and 
seat with folded arms. Lives are given freely for a true cause. I want to remember my colleague fondly. Ibun Ibn leads me to the mountain of blue height. If Sakwa too must fall, let it fall with us fighting. Yes. yes. Ama, not with us unwrapping our rowani for the white man to see our bad head. No. Your Highness, the white man approaches. Ah, how close? True Shagaritan will lie. Tomorrow, I will begin my three months journey. However, to avoid too much danger to the wives and children outside the wall of the city. Dust has been raised. Sintado Ura, Sabo the Haka. Let the wrestling match begin. Thank you.